today I'm going to be doing a plan with me and one of my mini planners. And when I say one of them, I really do have two mini planners that I kind of work, you know, work throughout. If I like, um, I'll play around with both of them and I may start doing plan with me's in both of them, but then in one of them or in both of them, I will take pictures. But now that I have a YouTube channel, I want to create more content for you guys. So I did buy two of the mini planners this year to kind of um, keep organized but also tests my creativity and and use different products on it that maybe I wouldn't normally or try out different things so um, I do have two of them and I kind of I don't know like I took this one to work with me this week but I think I might take that one to work with me this one okay so this is my other mini planner this is the um, live loud planner and this is my my week and here I have been for the last couple of weeks now, I have actually been really liking doing this kind of spread where you focus on the week over here and then the weekend is over here and you don't put anything that you want to do on the weekend over here and you know, same. But you're also, your days aren't specific. Like if you write something down, here's the Tuesday box, but you don't have to do that on Tuesday. You know, when I open this, when I take this on the go with me, when I'm at work and I'm like, what do I need to do tonight? Well. Now I can flip to this page and I can be like, well, maybe I'll do this and wait on that on Friday or whatever it may be or Thursday. So I've really been liking this. So I cut up one of these Hello Weekend little banners and I created the Hello Week and then focus. Sorry about my one nail polish, <laughs> my one non nail polish finger. I need to paint my nails today. And then I also added the Weekend Adventures right here to the top. So it's, you know, week weekend so now I can look at this I'm done with the week when it's Friday I'm done with the week so now I can look at just this and focus on the, what I want to get done what tasks I want to get done for the weekend so it's kind of helping me a little bit more to get stuff done especially when it comes to social media so this is that one in my live loud planner but I'm going to show you guys real fast I want to create it and what we will be doing for this video flip to March and here is what I created today and what you will see me create in this video so I hope you guys enjoy it but as you guys can see it's specific to the week and specific to the weekend so this one is the um, the best is yet to come planner I think that's what that is called if not I'll put it like up here what it's actually really called but I do, I love this planner, I really, really do, and I flip the cover, um, I flip the covers inside out, so it's got this, like, rainbow design, which I think is really, really cute. So I think I'm going to do a really fun color spread. You could do ones like these, too, and do, maybe I'll do that, like, right here. weekend so I'm just gonna take some scissors and I'm just going to cut where it says week and put that like that does that look good and I may change my mind at that placement because I kind of almost want to put it here. But I would need something to put there. I still love those little to-do stickers. This is from the like purple planner, um, purple sticker book, one of the original sticker books. So I really like those. They're just very simple. I know that I do kind of want to cover this up because I want to do a more colorful um, look this week and I don't really want to do like use a whole black a whole lot of black and white so I know I want to take that out somehow I just don't know how let's see so I'm kind of thinking more like a warmer week and a cooler weekend and do this like that and then I need I am having 
more of a family day on Sunday, so I, you can be more specific like that. Um, my stepsister is having her baby shower, so I did put that right there. Let's see. I'm going to go to more of my trusty sticker books. This is still one of my favorite sticker books. It's just the rainbow sticker book, and it's the classic size. I stinking love this this one. It's perfect. It really is. And I feel like I've gone through so many of them already. So I think I might do... Let's see. I like to go outside of the line sometimes too. So I'm covering up Thursday by doing that. Trying to cover up this gold here. Because sometimes I just don't want gold on there. Perfect. So there's that. We'll go ahead and do a box over on the cooler side. And I'm going to do like a dark teal. I've done so much teal. Maybe I shouldn't do teal, but. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to put this right, we'll do this for Saturday, maybe. And then we'll take a, we'll take a purple and cover this up. And then we'll do a <clears throat> light blue from this. But I'm gonna do, oh, I'm not gonna do that sticker, I just ripped it. Okay. All right, and so on this side, I'm gonna take in, I wanna put some yellow in there. I don't use yellow that often, so I really wanna use some yellow today. I just don't know where. This little Aaron's one down here. Mm. Right there. A little off center, but that's okay. Pull a little bit of red in, even though red's not really on there. If you guys can't tell, I love these boxes. I want an entire sticker book of just like different colored boxes and patterns. I love them. So I'm going to put this here, cover up Sunday, and we'll go ahead and do a light pink, or should we do a dark pink, a little pink, to cover up Monday. So all, oh, Friday's not covered up. We'll do a quote sticker for Friday. Here. 
think I might switch and this will be my week this week. And then I just have a purple flower. So I think I'm going to cut this a little bit straighter and have this just coming out right here maybe. Maybe right here. There wasn't a lot of cool colored flowers in that little in this little kit. There are like green leaves and stuff, but I think I might just leave it like that because I don't want it to be overly floral. So let's see what else we've got here. I could put it no. in that darker purple. I think I'm going to take a couple of these stickers. And I think I might do maybe like a bullet point up here and maybe well maybe we'll do two bullet points. I like how that looks. What do you guys think? I need a quote or something right here though. Kind of like this. Keep life simple. That sticker's from this new TGIF snap in sticker book. Super cute. Kind of want to do some like sunglasses down at the bottom. Just for some added cuteness. Okay, guys, I think I am done. So I'm going to see if it will zoom even any closer. Not really. <laughs> but here is that design. Now you guys can see it a little bit better than I could have described it to you. But it's going to be more focused on the week over here and everything that I want to get done and want to do. And then more focused on the weekend over on this side. It's easy for me to do if I look at something like this and I can see a whole layout of all what I need to do during the week. And I can be like, oh, okay, so Thursday, today's Thursday. I have time to do what was up on Monday. So now I have time to do that. So I can go ahead and do that, and I can feel good about it, that I can get everything that I want to get done with this week, I can get done, but I don't have to pressure myself to write it in on a certain day. Now, this is... I like to do that more for my classic sizes, but this is really fun for on the go, just to kind of look and see what else I have to do that whole week. Um, and then for the weekend, it's kind of just my crafting, relaxing, YouTube, Instagram focused time. So this is where I'm going to write the videos that I want to make. I want to write what I need to get done for at home. Do I need to go get groceries and meal prep and all that kind of stuff. And then down here, maybe I'll put what I want to get done before the next week, which would be, I think on the April tab. So there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys make one of these, definitely let me know in the comments below. I think they're fun. I think it's I think it's really fun because a lot of the time on the mini planners, you don't get a whole lot of room. So I think it's kind of fun to be able to make, you know, to create something really pretty, but you don't have to worry about where to put the numbers and where to focus on the days and all that, that kind of stuff. So... And I love the fact that you can be pretty functional too, but you can have fun with pops of color and decorations. So, so comment down below if you guys like this video and let me know in the, in the future if you guys would like to see more of these videos, because um, I will definitely do more. This was really fun to do. And 
yeah, I'll be sure to try and remember to do an after pin on this to take a picture with it and show you guys how I kind of styled it. I don't know if I'm going to do black and white ink or black and white ink, black ink, or if I'm going to do colored ink. Sometimes colored ink always, I mean, it ends up looking horrible for me, and that's why I don't post my after pins because it's just sloppy. But maybe I'll, I don't know. We'll see, you guys. We'll see. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more planner-related video videos in the future. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Bye.